so you don't care. I know it, all right? <laughs> it's been a while. Well, I have to give it to you, man. Your wife did a heck of a job with you. Uh, you just don't know. She did really well. Um, props to her. She's able to pick it up and run with it. I, it's great to have somebody that can do that, that's for sure. <laughs> she did a good job, man. I don't think everybody liked it. Yeah. I got to see that side of it, you know. I think it made a lot of husbands jealous. Like, <laughs> there ain't many people that could leave their wife to run their fuel truck and well, knock it out of the park just as good as they do. And did she did that? So that's cool. Um, she called me a couple of times, but honestly, she already had the answer. She was just confirming it, you know. So that was, hey, that's fine with me. Uh, I'd rather somebody do that and do something, and then you can spend a lot more time to fix it. Yeah. So, no, she, she's good about that. If she's not sure, she'll call me and say, hey, you know, what about this? Well, what do you think? Well, this is this. Oh, yeah, that sounds good to me. I go for it, you know. So I'm ready for the big expo. That's it. She's she's packing now. Um, I think we're both ready for it. She's a little less ready uh, to leave the kids yeah. for those couple of days. So uh, she's got she's got that going on. But she's ready to get down there. We're ready to see what all there is. And you know, we know it won't be a, a normal expo because of COVID and everything else. But uh, if if anybody's watched the video since I started. Everybody knows when my truck starts getting emptier that it's getting time for expo. So uh, we actually leave tomorrow. So I've sold my inventory down. I've got ready to buy right. So uh, hopefully it don't bite me, you know, with all the back order situation that's been going on with everything. Um, but if it does, I'll order some other stuff to fill it in. I just, uh, I wanted to be able to buy the deals and get them when they come. So we got some promising things uh, at expo. Um, We've heard a little, you know, few teases here and there, what's going to be there. I'm really excited for a couple of them, um, but I'm ready to get my hands on it and see what it is. I don't want to spoil it just yet, um, but they are changing some things up, and, and I'm glad because when I've sold the particular tool that I'm talking about in the past, it's always been, well, will it do this or, you know, something like and in that sense, and so we're going to find out. We're going to see. Well, when y'all find out this time, will y'all get to see the new 5S? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, or a Rebel X Top Box 3 I'm not sure. I, I, I can't say that I know a whole lot of what's going to be at Expo because they like to surprise us. Um, but I know that there's going to be a, a new, I think there's going to be a new style box there. But I don't know what S series it's going to run in. See, I've but, heard little rumors that there's going to be a new box that y'all are going to see. Yeah, um, like, I can confirm that rumor, but I don't know what series is. Nobody left. Everybody's like they leaked the blue ratchets. You know, yeah. it's supposed to be us released that, and yeah. we can't find nothing on the new box. So. Well, um, yeah, I, 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 I may have, may have not seen it, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, in the tool world especially, you got to be, if you're not coming up with something new just about every month or two, you're falling behind. So, to see them stepping out and coming up with some new stuff, even they're coming up with new stuff on stuff that's already been new, and I like that. That shows me that they're paying attention, because you're never going to come out with anything that's just perfect right off the bat. That'll always be perfect. It may be perfect this year, and then next year it may need to change with the automotive world to be perfect, you know, so. Well, I was hoping the new study impact. Well, you may have been hoping right. Good. Um, that's I hadn't seen it first. I've been hiding it, so. So, um, let me ask you this. Hopefully, when you go down there, because you know the meetup is only like two weeks after you, know, you go back. Hopefully, you're going to have some blue ratchets. Because I'm going to I'm gonna try to lean on some other distributors for that. And you got some guys coming. Yeah, well, I like you might not make it out of here alive if you ain't got some blue ratchets for somebody. I'm gonna traveling long ways. Yeah, I'm gonna lean on some of my other distributors um, because even when you visited the the plant where they do those, there was no blue in sight. Yeah, they um, like yeah. yeah, so. I started about two months ago trying to get blue ratchets in here in abundance. Okay. 
I haven't gotten on Blue Blankets. But I know some other distributors who do. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm going to try to have them in hand uh, for when they get here. Uh, and if y'all want to comment in, in the comment section and say that you're coming and that's what you want, just to give me kind of a heads up, that would help me out a lot. That way I know how many distributors to call and, and try to lean on and see. You know, I can't promise anything, but we'll see. We got some good distributors. I went ahead and saved both of them. I got them both in at the beginning of the week, but I figured if I saved both of them, we could kind of see the different colors. And because yeah, yeah. I have people that's like, well, I like that, but I think I'd like it better in orange, or I like it, but I'd rather have it in green. I don't ever have anybody say maroon, but we've done that on that task. I am glad you got them. Do you know if they ever start doing the blue and like air tools, like they did the yellow? Yeah. Which they don't do the yellow in the ratchets, but um, if they ever start doing the blue and like these, like they did with the tire pressure monitoring tool and stuff like that, I think they'll sell a lot. I I'm wanting to do the pry bars. Yeah. You know, I think that'll do good in, in screwdrivers because, you know, a lot of people buy the colors just because, you know, somebody else in their shop's already got green, somebody's got orange, somebody's got red. Well, if they have this color, you know, they know it's theirs. Well, I've got a guy that, that I that I sell to and that's what we talked about last night um, he <clears throat> he told me to order him a long neck quarter inch ratchet and he already had the long neck 3 8 ratchet and it, he didn't really say the color that he wanted it really color don't really matter to him so what I did is I ordered him the 3 8 and the green and when I ordered the quarter I ordered it in orange and the reason I did that for him Story he could tell a difference. Tell a difference. When he goes to his box, he can pick it up by color. Right. Uh, and I've got techs that do that. Um, of course, with ratchets and stuff, they don't do that. They're all usually the same color or mismatched. Don't care. Need one today? Just grab it. But I know as a tech, when I when I was there, it helped me out a lot to have different color stuff because then I could say, okay, well, I know my three eighths is green, so green. You know, I know some guys that do that with ratchets, like that. Have yeah. Quarter inch one color and three eighths. And I think that's and I think that's great because. Um, if you can go to it and just pick it up, grab it, and go, then it, it speeds up time. But that's going to be the new stubby. This is the stubby 3.8. They so got the stubby half too. I think the half was actually going to be at Expo, so we didn't um, we didn't get to pre-order that. Well, I say we didn't get pre-order, but yeah, I like them. I really do. Um, so for a while on the Maco Impacts. For what I've been hearing, I don't know that all distributors have been hearing this, but from what I've been hearing is, have you got a small one like Snap on, or have you got a small one like Milwaukee? You know, and ours is all our three eighths always been big, bulky. Um, so the fact that they come out with these here, the small, um, compact, I, I really like the design. Everybody loved the design of the stubby uh, air impact. And I think that's kind of, you know, the, the look that they went for there. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, I don't know if they meant to do that or that's just the way it turned out. But well, they look good. I like them. I do like that they went back to the the one light here. Um, but that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people yeah, like the other one, you know, when we tested it, it had a lot of blinking and flickering. Yeah. And well, anytime you put a light around here, or, and at first I thought that was the greatest idea ever. But when you put a light around here, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of vibration and abuse, mm -hmm. and it's just, I like the light down here now, and that's just me. I like the handle, too, because it's sort of chunky. Yeah. Man, that, dude, Fits that good, right? Fits good. Fits, right. You yeah, know, I like that. We're not, we're not dealing with guns or anything, but, you know, that's that's one thing people do with them, is they'll pick them up, they feel how they feel. But the weight's right, too. Yeah. It's not, it's not. Balanced. It yeah. feels good in your hand. So, I like that. Uh, they look good. Um. So what's the breakaway and working torque on those supposed to be? The breakaway torque is 300 foot-pounds, and the max torque uh, is 215. So, you know, we still have our bigger impact if you if you need more than that. Mm -hmm. But I think that right there is going to, you know, we already know by the last video you did on the bigger 3.8s, it's a hoss. It'll do it. I mean, it took a lug nut off what a... a it was an 18 wheeler. Okay. We don't even know what it was torqued at the first time. Yeah. And then we torqued it at, what, 600? Yeah. yeah. So... We didn't like it. <laughs> well, it hey, you know what? That You know... But, I mean, in all honesty, would you normally use a half-inch on it? No. Right. But, wait, well, well it's a 3.8, so... 
yeah, three eighths. A yeah. lot of people criticize me because of that. I'm like, oh, well, we, we read so many it's comments the about test to see how yeah. strong it is. Yeah. So. yeah, we read so many comments about how you wouldn't use a three eighths to do that. You you know, torque loss on this, that, and another. First it's of all, if it's got loss. torque loss and it still does it, hey, that's even better. Um, but no, I'm not going to be running out to an 18 wheeler with my 3.8 impact. And I'm I'm not the type of person that's going to run out to a regular car. I don't care if it's a Prius sitting out there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not running out there with a 3.8 impact. That's just not what I'm doing. Um, but I would have 100% faith in that. If you have that in your toolbox, yeah. and you're driving to Memphis, and you only have one battery, just, you know, one yeah. charge battery, and you had a flat, you definitely could take your look. Oh, yeah. I, I have that I have that confidence in it. And, and you know, but every day, all day, if that's what you're doing, you're going to beat that gun to death. But that's any gun. Any gun that's not designed to do something, just because it does it, if you do it constantly every day, it's going to beat it to death. I'm glad they put the thicker handle on it. Because I'll be honest with you, I like that better. Like, yeah. I, I, I was, I'm so close to last, well, it's, yeah, the last week when they showed the new DeWalt impact. And Mac's got a really good deal coming up on that impact. Yeah. They're going to have a the full swivel socket set free with that impact. And it's no price increase on it. Huh. <coughs> I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to get that. But now that I've set my handle on that one, I don't know. That's, that's a good feeling impact. I like the way it feels. Yeah, I, I like the way it feels. The um, guys with little bitty hands probably not going to like it. You know? Every tool is like that, though. Yeah. A- every tool. I've, I've had, you know, guys that's had hammers way too big for me to do but when you look at them they got arms like this and it's their perfect hammer i don't want that big of a hammer you know i'll go to the next the next toolbox where that guy's a little smaller I'm like yeah i like it <laughs> you know but yeah that's like your the one i bought from you that 40 ounce it's got the real long handle yeah man if i get a call breaks or pros that's the hammer I get. yeah so see i, I like that, that one oh uh, it's the perfect length i like the handle on because it's long enough that yeah. you don't get your hand when you're trying to whack the brake dogs. Yep. But man, you can put a hurt on something with that hammer. Yep. But now, if it had been probably four ounces bigger, and I wouldn't be mad enough to swing that thing immediately. Well, and that's the that's thing, you know. That's pretty tough when you stretch it out, you know, that handle's like eight, 10 inches long. Yeah, well, and that's that's like these pry bars. I have guys that come on here that's literally this tall and this wide, and they grab that pry bar, and I'm like, no, just, hold on just a second. Think about this. You're going to be... How many pry bars you got? Well, I, I need a bigger one. I said, how many pry bars you got? It's like, well, I got, you know, shorter ones. It's like, I'm not saying you don't need a bigger pry bar, but that one's going to wear you out. Are you sure that's the one you want? Yeah, I'm sure. And then the next week, they're like, I should have got a little bit smaller. It's like, well, I, you know, I told you. I'm going to tell you, though, man, if you need a big pry bar, the longest one you can get in, in, in where you're working is the way to go. Yeah. Well, I saw a guy standing on it the other day. Like, he's a, he's real small. Um. He don't let nothing stop him, but yeah, he was standing on it, bouncing on it. I was like, when that breaks loose, that's going to hurt. He's like, if it breaks loose, I, I buy it. That's fine. <laughs> well, my buddy Bruce uh, Evans, you know, he's a blacksmith that makes knives and stuff. And um, I showed a couple of old videos where he made knives for me and this and that. But he, um, my mic went on. But he, uh, he made me one, and it's the length of my truck, my service truck. I think you used that on my Azuzu. I did. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's Big long. Heavy one. Yeah. But dude, it's it's a haul. When you need it, you need it. And so I I had that deal going on. I don't know. I think we talked about it. You you buy this one, you got the smaller one for mm-hmm. it. <clears throat> Man, I've sold out of those so quick. You know, I say it every time. I don't order enough when there's sales and. This, that, and another, but it's a lot harder when you're looking at a piece of paper and you're trying to figure out, okay, this is sell or this won't. But yeah, I mean, I, I ordered, you know, a good bit of them and they sold just like that. People, people really liked them, and that's a really good prop board too. Um, I've got a guy right now that he can break an anvil if he really put his mind to it, and he's trying to break one because he just wants to. It's like, wow. Hey. It's like, hey, you know what? Go ahead and try it. You know. That's I told, crazy. I, told, I messed up and said that he wouldn't break it. Uh, I did that, so he's going to try, but that'd be okay. We'll see what happens. I don't know how much of this video I lost because I just noticed my mic wasn't on, and uh, that sucks because this was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's just shoot that little 
the new 3 8 impact so part. this is the new 3 8 impacts um we've got i saved both of them that way we can see the different colors we've got the green and the orange uh, i never get asked for the maroon so i didn't order any of those they are they do have them um nice compact design every time i've ever sold uh, a Maco Impact 3 8s. I always get asked if we have the smaller one like Snap-on had or uh, has or uh, Milwaukee. So I'm glad they went with a smaller design. I'm also glad that they went with a light down here. Um, we had them up here and they work but they there's so much hammering going on up here they like to flash and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I'm, I thought it was a really good idea to have them up here but I think I like down here better. Um, but I like the feel of it. You can feel it. See how you like it. It's got a good chunky thick handle, which is an awesome plus. Well, and if you'll notice, it thins up right there where your thumb mm -hmm. goes. So it's it's not like it's thick where your your trigger finger is going to be at. Um, it's quick too, man. It? Yeah, it's it's quick. As far as um, all that good stuff. It's got a uh, breakaway torque of 300 foot-pounds, max torque of 215. Now, just remember, this ain't replacing our bigger 3.8s. Right. Um, so, don't be, or that I know of, it's not. I hope not. But um, then you have impacts per minute. You got 3,100 impacts per minute. So, free speed is 0 to 2,400. So, good, nice weight, less than 3 pounds. Um, so, I, I think that's great. And uh, it says charging time forty minutes. So wow, that's and quick. it comes with two batteries. So that's really good. Yeah. So what is the price on those? Let me look it up right quick. So that impact in my area is running around five hundred for the kit with two batteries. Okay. So it, you know it's it's right there with all the other class and everything mm -hmm. like that. So good price, good size, good weight. Um, just an overall good impact. I'm, I'm really glad that they slimmed them down, made them lighter. Um, and, I, you know, I'm hoping that they'll continue to take note of the good things that happen and just keep improving from, from here to there because that's that seems to be what they're doing. They take, yeah. they take something, they improve it, and then if they see, well, hey, we'll do it better like this, they'll improve it again. So I really like to see that. But. That's going to be the impacts um, there. Well, I noticed a lot of guys have really moved over to Matco. You know, they're like, man, you know, used to, I I didn't really care that much about Matco, you know, blah, blah, blah. And now they've kind of like, man, I really don't care about the other brands anymore. I've kind of switched over to Matco. And, but I think a lot of it's just because of, you know, you guys are y'all were hustling y'all were working harder than a lot of the other brands and then matco's always coming out with newer you know more stuff it yeah. seems like you guys get more new stuff than any other tool company that's out there you know like well we definitely try we're you know we have uh we we put it to the impact team for a lot of different issues um which you know on the blue red ratchets we threw it to todd berry he's our impact rep for our area uh, and he was able to make something happen there. So um, we know him that works, right? Yeah. So they have meetings ever so often. We send, we got a form we can fill out. Uh, some of us fill the form out. Some of us just send, send a text to Todd. But we, either way, we get it took care of. Mm -hmm. um, a form gets filled out in the end. Um, but, you know, they can only look at so many issues at a time. They can only send up so many issues. I feel like they've been doing a good job singling the most important stuff out. So we got to give it props where props are needed. So Well, it's apparent by looking at no blue ratchets that blue tools blue matter. Tools sold. Blue tools matter. Uh -huh. Like people like it. So hopefully they'll uh, yeah. they'll continue the line and do pry bars. And man, could you imagine that impact with blue? That's what, yeah. Um, like, I'm hoping they'll eventually whew. go to you know, they're the full line of blue stuff, you know, mm -hmm. pry bars, screwdrivers. Um, if we've got it in green or orange, let's have it in blue. Um, I think that would really help out. I mean, yeah. Or, or not, I say help out, I think that would really pique some interest. Yeah. And I think people would really start, because when, when you start buying by color, uh, you start wanting everything in that color. Um, 
Well, like Bill, he was green for a long mm -hmm. time. Um, then he went to high vis. Yeah, so I mean, you get in that to where you want it, you know, that certain color and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if they could, if they can get these in blue, which right now, and they may be planning on it, we don't know. Well, blue ratchets being so hard to get. Um, I don't know what I can't tell you how many guys have sent me messages. I didn't need another ratchet. I didn't want another ratchet. Yeah. But I had to buy it because it was blue. Like I well, wanted it because you know you guys made it happen, and I wanted you know I wanted a blue ratchet. And then I've heard a lot of guys. I never wanted a Matco ratchet. Wouldn't even think about. It. I'm die hard snap on guys. All I'm going to use snap on ratchets. But when y'all come out with a blue, I bought one. You know so. Wow. And then and then they've told me after I started using it, you're right, the head standard, you know, I like to lock on it better, so now I'm a Matco guy. Yeah, gotta gotta use it, right? Yeah. Um, and that that was the main thing when I first got started here. There was a couple a couple of obstacles that I had to go over. Um, but even after I got over that, the people that had that had never been to Matco, never used Matco, mm -hmm. I had to get them to try it for at least once. That's the number one way to sell the drill bits. The high step drill bits, everybody looks at them yep. and they're like, eh, it's like, here, go use one right quick. Mm -hmm. and, and when they use it, they're like, yeah, I want it. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's um, true. I didn't think there was a way to sell people multiple sets of drill bits, but that, that those are the way. Mm -hmm. um, I've got, I've literally got some customers who got two or three sets, um, just so they have one in every one of their boxes. Uh, and then I've got a guy that had the regular hyper steps and then they come out with a big um, set of the actual cobalt set. Right. He said he had to have them. He said, if these are that good, I want mm -hmm. these two. And it's like, oh, okay. Um, you know, I, I don't, and like I told him, I don't know how much of a difference there is in between them to really justify having both. He's like, I don't care. I want both. He's like, I was going to buy another set anyway. So if I was going to buy another set, I might as well get those two. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, that, that's good. <laughs> you know, they are shorter. They do, they do withstand heat better. So go ahead. Um, I had to drill a lockout in the toolbox the other day. If you've never done them, that sucks on ours. Drilling them locks out, they make them things to last. Yeah. But them hybrid steps make it a lot easier. Right. Um, <coughs> we started out with a customer's bit, and it was taking forever. Um, switched over to the hybrid step, it really started eating through it. Um, it. Like I said, it still took a little while because the locks are made yeah. to last. Tough. And uh, but we were able to get it drilled out and. So he bought him a set of drill bits. So sweet. Drilled two locks out in one week. Hadn't drilled none out <laughs> in three years, and then had to drill two out in one week. Um, so I jinxed myself on the first one. I said I never hope. I hope I never had to do it again. Oh yeah, another one's coming. Yeah, it came the next day. So I was what you should do is get up every morning and be like, man, I hope I get to drill a lock out today. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> 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 it keeps on going. I have to do that. I'm gonna have to. You know, one thing we talked about at the beginning of the video that I don't want to let uh, skip by is that my wife really did a good job mm -hmm. running the truck. She did. She did so, a great job. I was able to get the pool up and get some drains in, and boy, that kicked my tail, but I was able to get it all done. <laughs> good deal. But, you know, just like with anything else. Well, I seen your wife last night at the T-ball game. Yep. She had your little boy there. Man, he is growing. That yeah, little dude growing. is getting big. Yeah, he's growing, his attitude's growing. Uh, <laughs> that's with all my kids, so. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess that's part of it. As they get older, their attitude grows a little. But yeah, yeah he uh, he enjoys being at that field. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the good. The problem is, he wants to be on the field. He don't want to be outside. And he won't be long. He'll be able to play T-ball. Uh, yeah, he, but well, you know, he just really wanted to be out there with everybody else. So. Yeah. I know one night she had to actually put them on a field up beside it where they wouldn't, you know, they wasn't playing on that field, so they had to go over there to where mm -hmm. they could play on the field, you know, so. Well, I know, you know, I was going to Tampa um, this week, so I missed, you know, Tuesday was the first actual ball game we got to play. So I actually missed her first ball game. But I was able to, like, I stopped what I was doing. Like, we was filming videos, you know, and I stopped what I was doing and spent that 48 minutes on FaceTime watching her play. Yeah. Like I was there to make videos and yeah. I was like, guys, look, this is like, I'm, I'm shutting down cause like this is my time right now. Yeah. And I wasn't going to miss it. I didn't care what, how much money it cost me. I didn't care, you know? So, well, you know, the thing, the thing about it is though, uh, well, him <clears throat> age is the only thing stopping him. Cause yep. you put, 
you can put a ball on a tee in front of him and he'll hit it. Yep. And he's driving it when he does. Good. So that's good. He uh, he's gonna be ready to play something. I don't, I don't know what sport he'll pick, but he'll, <laughs> let him play them all, man. Hey, anything he wants. Hey, to that's good for him. Which that's like my dog. Way better than video games. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Luckily, most of them watch stay outside and play, so. That's good. Well, him having sisters is really going to help him, too, because he's got somebody to play ball with, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like, he'll be, uh, he'll probably be about six, and they'll be like, hey, he's throwing too hard, you know. <laughs> so, that'll be good. Yeah, well, yeah, well. Which, I don't know, you know, Boonville, we're kind of known for having really good baseball and softball teams. You know, the the high school girls, they yeah, just they, won a state championship, state. you know. They had a lot of good, they got a really good pitcher. Yeah. Um, they got a really good team, too. Yeah. yeah. Which their coach, you know, she played her whole life, you know, through, through ball, so high school and all that. Which one are you talking about? Jessica. Oh, um, there's another one on there that played. I think she's a coach there. Played when I went to school there. Yeah. So, I think they. Well, I think they're making it happen. I love it, man. Can't ever get enough baseball. But all right, guys. Sorry for uh, forgetting to turn my mic on. Things happen, like I say. It's been a long week for me. It was a great. It was a great segment, though. It was I, really we can't good. React. We can't I'm, do it, but I'm hey. sorry, I missed it. <laughs> all right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And if you're not subscribed, click the button. Just press that button. You guys have a great weekend. See you next time.